A pro-Palestine demonstrator interrupted Kim Kardashian on Tuesday afternoon during her speech at the OMR Business Conference in Hamburg. Only hours after making a shocking appearance at the Met Gala in New York on Monday night, the 43-year-old businesswoman traveled to the German city to speak at the OMR Digital and Marketing Trade Show. The U.S. celebrity's appearance at the festival, which bills itself as a platform for information, inspiration, and networking on all things digital business, will set you back more than 1 million euros, reports the German magazine Bild. Kim will get a handsome sum of 700,000 euros in addition to the costs associated with her private jet and entourage. However, Kim will really be paid a fee of many million dollars. Kim was interrupted after taking the stage by an audience member who started yelling, Free Palestine, over and over. The host was heard saying, It's okay, to Kim as security led the demonstrator out of the building. She then went on to say, Free everybody. Security personnel then led the woman out of the 7,000 person hall, according to the German newspaper Morgenpost. Later on, Kim allegedly said, I feel sympathy for the Israelites and the Palestinian people. I feel sorry for everyone. We only want everyone to feel secure and unrestricted, feel secure. Additionally, be kind to them and show them the same respect that you would like to receive. These are undoubtedly frightening times. During her 40-minute speech, Kim discussed the success of her company schemes and how she developed her personal brand to consistently attract attention from across the globe. It has to be so authentic to you and you really have to fill that void of what is missing and know how to come up with that solution, she said, addressing the audience on the significance of authenticity, sincerity is, after all, everything, right? Even with a brilliant idea, it remains just that, an idea, if you are unable to relate to it, make a connection, and share it, therefore, the start of a really good offering is having something that is so believable and honest to you at your core. Additionally, the celebrity talked about how Schemes was first entirely dependent on her, but she clarified that the goal was to take myself out of that position so that it can sustain with or without me. During a trip to the US, Kim's team was approached by the founder, Philip Westermeyer, to speak at the event. The process of getting Kim as a guest took a month, as Roland Eisenbrand revealed in an interview with Stern, the head of content at OMR. He stated, it has to be stated quite clearly that, from a purely financial point of view, Kim Kardashian would certainly not need to come to the OMR festival, even though there was a lot of talk and she obviously receives a reasonable fee. Evidently, our concept has already persuaded them. Roland continued, gushing over Kim's empire success, saying, she had a mobile game with millions of sales. On Instagram, she has 364 million followers. Over the years, she has been able to garner attention and reach, and she is quite skilled at making money off of them. Her underwear company, Schemes, is set to go public and is currently valued at 4 billion US dollars. We find Kim Kardashian to be highly interesting for all of her reasons, and we think anyone in the marketing industry can learn a lot from her. Arriving in Hamburg is proof that she truly can do it all. Kim, after arriving in Hamburg around 3 p.m. on Tuesday, the person left the red carpet at approximately 7 p.m. New York time on Monday. Her two appearances are only 13 hours apart because Germany is six hours ahead of New York. From New York to Hamburg, the journey takes about nine hours. The reality TV personality dazzled on the red carpet, flaunting her incredibly trim waist in the silver Maison Margiela by John Galliano outfit. However, she declined to go to any rowdy afterparties in New York City and instead boarded her private aircraft directly to take a red-eye flight to Europe. Even after the lengthy travel, she made the time to sign autographs for her devoted fans when she arrived at the Hamburg airport looking flawless. She had on a long, padded black coat, striped tracksuit bottoms, and dark glasses. Her golden hair continued to look stunningly draped over her shoulders in free waves. Kim's remarkably small waist, adorned in a silver corset, caused quite a stir on Monday night's star-studded Met Gala 2024 red carpet in New York City. The reality personality, 
who is renowned for her voluptuous posterior and curvy frame, displayed a dramatic body makeover while wearing a couture maison margila by John Galliano. Kim, who sat in the front row of John Galliano's artisanal show, was dressed in this gorgeous gown by the Maison Margiela creative director. People reacted to Kim's odd appearance on social media just a day after she was jeered at the Tom Brady Netflix roast. One person tweeted, How many ribs did Kim get removed? Dot. Her little figure was adorned with a shimmering metallic silver corset that cascaded into a translucent lacy skirt that bared her legs. She wore identical shiny silver platform shoes with the strapless dress. The A-lister made an unexpected fashion choice when she wrapped herself in a grey cropped sweater that didn't quite go with the rest of the ensemble. Kim collaborated with her longtime hairstylist Chris Appleton once more, and this time she wore her newly dyed platinum blonde locks down in a middle part that emphasized her dark roots. Her makeup complemented her features and was finished with a glossy, nude lip swipe. Her small waist, however, was the topic of most social media discussion. A user on X, formerly known as Twitter, said, Jesus, she's going to the hospital by the end of the night. Did they cut out one or two ribs? Some people supported the hypothesis of rib removal by asking, did she have a rib removed? Oh lord. Another mentioned the physical changes the founder of schemes had to make for past Met Galas. Kim Kardashian does it again, I wonder how she breathes with that hashtag Met Gala, one person said. They appeared to be making reference to one of Kim's most famous appearances at the event in 2022, when she appeared incredibly thin to fit into Marilyn Monroe's legendary attire. She also referred to herself as a shapeshifter months later in a November episode of The Kardashians, saying that she had done everything in her power to fit into the dress. In the episode, she tried on a clone of the dress Marilyn Monroe wore in 1962 when she serenaded then-President John F. Kennedy on his 45th birthday. Kim stated, I can't even try the original if this doesn't fit me. I'm looking at my measures after searching for her dimensions on Google. She provided evidence for her shape-shifting abilities by claiming that her broad shoulders would enable her to squeeze into anything. No one trusted us they would never send samples for years, the mother of four stated. After trying the samples when I arrived in Paris, they would say, oh, wait, she actually fits in our stuff. I'm not sure how to explain my shape-shifting abilities to the guy who owns the original Marilyn dress. Following the event on Monday, Kim returned to the Ritz-Carlton Hotel while maintaining a low profile. The celebrity tried to cover her incredibly little waist, but a bodyguard held a white towel in front of her. Every year on the first Monday in May, the Costume Institute hosts its spring exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City.